Yeah, the fairgrounds as a whole is kind of the front door to the community as, as you come in on Interstate 20 uh, headed eastbound. And yeah, we think it'll, it'll add a lot to as a community point of pride, as a gathering place for people to come and be a really a, a huge point of pride for everybody. An update tonight on Rev Entertainment's proposal to build a new world class ballpark, they say, right in the middle of the Louisiana State Fairgrounds. Rev Entertainment, created by the uh, unit of the Texas Rangers, uh, they're wanting to bring minor league baseball back to Shreveport. You may recall last October the city announced a partnership with them to build this multi uh, sport facility and hotel and so much more. Now, despite efforts to block demolition of the old fairgrounds field still pending in court, Rev leaders were back in town tonight updating residents on their plans. KS Ladies 12 Jade Myers reports. We think it'll it'll add a lot to as a community point of pride, as a gathering place for people to come and be a really a, a huge point of pride for everybody. Rev Entertainment is talking about their proposed world class ballpark set to be near Fairgrounds Field. Right in the middle of the fairgrounds, adjacent uh, and close to Hirsch Coliseum and the Independence Bowl. And really excited to uh, bring professional baseball, but really bring a lot more than that. The company's plan shows hotels and restaurants, among other things. On top of the, the ballpark, we're looking at a mixed use development that'll have a, you know, a bar and restaurant type concept, a place for people to come before and after the game and before and after events at Hirsch and Independence. We're looking at adding a hotel. And then we've, we've worked with the city to visualize a, basically a three part plan that could have even more development. Some people said the facility could be positive for the community. Taking that area that's not in use and putting it to use and then different opportunities that can be presented to, you know, just people in the city or from around. It's not just baseball, but it's a 365 day a year um, project. Uh, they plan to bring events to the city all the time so that we won't just it won't just be baseball season and then the area is dead. I'm always excited when I hear about well established uh, real reputed folks coming to Shreveport interested in investing in this community. Their plan hinges on the demolition of Fairgrounds Field. Link Coleman with UL Coleman has fought to stop the demolition of the fairgrounds. We're interested in uh, in marshalling the, the city's assets and being, being prudent about how the money is spent. And the city doesn't have an unlimited budget of things to spend. We have a lot of sewer systems, water systems, streets that need to be repaired, uh, unfunded uh, pension funds. And so we need to address those things. But we need to have entertainment venues for our community too. So this is just, uh, we need to be prudent in how we analyze those. Rev Entertainment says if everything works out, they're expecting to be complete by 2026. Jade Myers, KSLA News 12.